Hey yo, it's Diane, figuratively naked. Today we have on pretty pink pajamas, pretty pink pajamas. Hey, um, you know, I was just talking to someone and they really made me uh, think about something that I wanted to talk to you about. Um, you know, in, in the industry, on the internet, we hear leads, 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 generate leads, generate 50, lead, 50 leads a day, this, 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 and this, leads, 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 and everybody's telling me, it's my focus, I need leads. And um, so I want to talk to you about leads versus subscribers. And, and intellectually, it's a very different concept. Now, your, your autoresponder may use different terms, but you know these are the terms I'm using, and I want you to just grab this. A lead is a person who put in their name and their email to get something, right? A free report, a video series, whatever. They put in their name and their email to get something. A subscriber is a person who raises their hand and says, I would voluntarily like to hear from you on a regular basis. Okay, big difference, big difference. The lead wants the thing that you put behind door number one, right? Carol Merrill, show us what's behind curtain number one for all of you old people that get that joke, right? The lead sees, ooh, there's something cool there. If I put in my name and my email, I can get the cool thing. They haven't distinctively decided that they wanna hear from you and very often based upon the offer, they don't even know who they're hearing from. Now, is a lead a good thing? Of course it is. It's just that you need a larger volume of leads in order to get the desired result of sales, etc. unless you're a very skilled sales presentation and funnel builder. If you're somebody that's real good with funnels and you've studied it, maybe you've hung out with Russell or somebody and you know how to build a good offer in a sequence where you have a giveaway and then maybe a, a small ticket upsell and then into a bigger ticket upsell, so on and so forth, awesome. Um, if you're skilled at that, get leads all day long. But most of the people that watch my stuff are in network marketing or some other type of relationship-based business. And most of you, including me, are not terribly skilled with creating those sequences. I'm good at, good at it, I'm just too lazy to do it, truthfully. I mean, I've done it, I know how to do it. I just, you know, I can go faster in other ways. So you're looking for subscribers. And you see, subscribers, they're warm market or they become warm market very fast. And if you don't know this, guys, you really gotta understand, if you're in network marketing, network marketing is a warm market business. Let me say it again, because <laughs> you can try to fight it all day long. You can try to, you know, work around it. And there's a lot of hot shots that say that they've figured out a way to do it with strangers. Uh -uh. Show me one that's lasted a long time doing it that way. Doesn't exist. They go up the flagpole, down the flagpole. Network marketing is a warm market business. And the idea of having a newsletter and getting subscribers about a topic that relates to what you're selling or marketing gives you the ability to develop these people into a massive warm market. Think about it, if you start building up a warm market, they always tell you make a list of 100. Well, what if you have a list of 500, 1,000, 3,000, 5,000 that you build up through your marketing efforts and you have these subscribers and, they're, and they feel like they know you, which is warm market? Imagine what you can do. Imagine how many products you can sell. Imagine how many really rock solid team members you can build and imagine the stability in your business that you could create. So next time you start hearing or thinking about how I have to generate leads, ask yourself, do I want a lead or do I want a subscriber? A subscriber generally has a much higher lifetime value. Both are good, both are important. It just depends on what your outcome is and what you're going after. And um, I know that if I can get someone to subscribe to my list and stick with me for a while, by the way, over at dianehockman.com, H-O-C-H-M-A-N, go put in your name and email and you'll see. I write to you like a friend, which means I'm not always slamming you with a deal or whatever, but there's always offers and different things in there. I create an environment, I create a community. And if you decide to build a subscriber base, what will happen is you'll have a much, um, over time, your earnings from that list will be very significant. It doesn't have to be as big. You don't have to be as skilled because they expect you to write to them like you're a friend. They don't expect some fancy copy, um, et cetera. So do you want leads or subscribers?
My model is all about the subscriber. All models are good. Just make sure you know which model you're working and it'll make a big difference for you. So that's it. I'm going to go back to doing what I'm doing. By the way, this is a record. They're clean ones, but it is five o'clock in the afternoon. It's dark out. <laughs> and here I am in my pretty pink pajamas. Lately, because I've been around the house, I've just been kind of switching from pajamas to pajamas or sweats to sweats. Um, it's truth. But tomorrow I have a couple interviews, so I have to doll up and do some hairdos and stuff. So uh, maybe I'll catch you tomorrow and I'll look like a human being. See you later.